Man, Kevin McCarthy down better than Black Adam. And I can't think of two more opposite things. Good evening. Welcome to Open Mic. You know, we like to start off with a few hot takes on news stories that you won't see anywhere else. And trust me, I already looked. Let's start off in the D.C. area where we're experiencing some of the warmest weather we've ever had this time of year. Another spring like day as we head throughout your Tuesday forecast with temperatures even warmer than they were yesterday and we're close to record warmth at all of our airports. We're forecasting 67 degrees at Reagan, Dulles and BWI and the record stands at 68 degrees. It's getting hot in here. Keep your clothes on because I'm at work. Look at all the weather acting all nice like it didn't just try and kill us. But look at this night, right? This is, a, by the way, a very toxic relationship. Mother Nature trying to act all nice right now. This is the same weather that had people unpacking summer clothes. Now, depending on the week, you can see folks in sweaters or shorts, sometimes both. I had on a turtleneck weeks ago. Pure chaos. Yesterday, I saw a mosquito flying around confused. Talk about, I thought it was June. You mean to tell me I came to work on my day off? I hope I don't get fired. That'd be the mosquito version of Friday. The weather is unpredictable, but since it's warm right now, I ain't mad. I'm happy. Last week it was too cold to even exist outside, so I gotta enjoy this little stretch of climate change. Although you could you could have given me this little stretch of climate change like last week when we was all off work, had all that free time. Yeah, last week that that would have been it, but. You know, whatever. Let's stay in D.C. for this next story where Mayor Muriel Bowser hopes to turn empty office buildings downtown into apartments and condos and wants the federal government to either bring their workers back to the office space or make the space available for redevelopment. Mayor Bowser wants to bring in more than 100,000 new residents. How's that going to happen? Yeah, that's right. So, you know, one council member said today downtown and its tax base are vulnerable in ways we have not seen in decades. The mayor believes part of the fix is to turn empty offices into apartments and condos. But she says she also needs the help of another downtown residence, the White House. Wow, Bowser just got sworn in and she's coming out the gate trying to snatch up people's remote work. Now, I'd be okay with this plan if any of this proposed housing would be, you know, affordable. But we know it won't be. I mean, when D.C. calls housing affordable, you got to ask a follow-up question like affordable to who? Elon Musk? Jeff Bezos? I mean, all of this to generate tax revenue and make downtown attractive to businesses. Now, normally when folks talk about government workers, the complaints are valid. But I will defend anybody's right to telework, because you can't let people just get a taste of working from home this long and then snatch it away. They've been to the promised land. It's too late to turn back. I chose this next story because it's also the end of an era, and unfortunately, we can't turn back. The last Burger King location in D.C. You know the one I'm talking about, the one at 4422 Connecticut Avenue that never took your coupons or receipts. It's known for its 80s nostalgia decor, has permanently closed. It is indeed a sad day for the king. Just look at him, smiling in the face of adversity. He's a real one. As for me, I admit I'm a little sad. It was the only place in the city where I could eat a Whopper underneath Jaws and E.T. And it's gone. R.I.P. to my childhood. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Now I got to go to Maryland or Virginia to get my flame boil fix, and it's not even going to feel dusty like this one did. Restaurants nowadays don't even care about the ambiance. The only thing they care about is actually taking receipts and, uh, and, and the coupons, which I do appreciate. But not 80s Burger King. Their official motto was have it your way. But the real motto was, you hungry? On a budget? We got you, fam. Oh, Connecticut Avenue, Retro Burger King. You'll be missed. I'll see you at the crossroads with Uncle Charles. Let's head to Capitol Hill for this last story. Newly released documents collected by the House Select Committee investigating the Capitol Hill insurrection show a text message exchange between Hope Hicks and Ivanka Trump's Chief of Staff, Julie Radford, where Hicks wrote that Donald Trump's actions on January 6th, quote, made us all unemployable, like untouchable. She continued, in one day, he ended every future opportunity 
that doesn't include speaking engagements at the local Proud Boys chapter, that extremist, you know, far, far right group. And all of us who didn't have jobs lined up will be perpetually unemployed. I'm so mad and upset. We all look like domestic terrorists now. Oh man, does anybody have a tiny violin nearby? Because Hope Hicks wants to borrow it. I mean, democracy was being threatened and Hope's first thought was, let me update my resume on Indeed. Perhaps she can ask George Santos for help. I hear he's looking for somebody to talk to. Nobody feels bad for her or anybody else in that administration. Trump consistently threw people under the bus the whole time he was president. They knew who they worked for. Some of them went to jail, so Hope is one of the lucky ones. Now, I'm usually sympathetic towards job seekers, but not after a poorly executed coup attempt. Go ahead and write your tell-all book and then fade into oblivion. Suddenly, her January 6th testimony seems a lot less brave and a lot more get back. All I know is this look into the inboxes of Trump's inner circle is highly entertaining. So by all means, keep the releases coming. My favorite story today, I don't know. I gotta think Hope Hicks waiting until the Capitol got stormed to start caring about her reputation. But the warm weather is indeed a close second. It will be first if it happened when I actually had time to enjoy it. Thanks, Mother Nature.